generative conversational AI models like ChatGBT, also called large language models, are pretty cool. They can respond with complex narratives, basically a bunch of fully formed and grammatically correct sentences based upon the content and primary sources they were trained on. For ChatGPT, that means information up until September of 21. They declare the answer in sentence form. They can also retain context, which means they remember what was just asked. I'll demonstrate these points through an example. At 42Chat, we recommend that our clients name their bots and create an avatar to humanize them. DB is the name of a demo bot we launched over six years ago to showcase our capabilities. DB is really smart and can respond to millions of questions about a fictitious event at Chicago's Navy Pier. But for some reason, we never created an avatar for DB. So I thought, hey, why don't I use ChatGPT for some inspiration? So I asked, what are the most famous people named DB? ChatGPT responded with David Bowie, and Daniel Boone. Excellent. Two people I really wouldn't have thought of. Then there's, wait, Diego Maradona, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and Daisy Ridley? What? Since ChatGPT retains context, I didn't have to ask the same question again like you would for search. So I said, none of the last three have the initials of DB. And ChatGPT apologized and then came back with David Beckham. Oh, excellent. Another name I hadn't thought of. And then Daniel Craig and Dustin Hoffman. Well, I like both these actors. Either one is a DB. So I just said, wrong again. And ChatGPT apologized. It's unfailingly polite. And this time succeeded in giving me three names with the initials of DB. David Beckham, which we've seen before, along with Don Bradman, apparently the greatest batsman in the history of cricket, and Dennis Burkamp, a Dutch professional footballer. So to summarize this experience, ChatGPT gave me five names that I really wouldn't have thought of, but it also gave me five names that were wrong. So let me ask you a question. If the AI can be obviously wrong for something this simple, how confident would you be that it gave you the right answer for something you're not really an expert on? Or more importantly, how confident should you be that the AI generated a response that is the correct one for your customer. Thanks for listening. If you have questions or would like to gain other insights on customer engagement, go to our website and click on Let's Chat to talk to our team. You can also call or text us at this number and be sure to follow us on social.